Welcome to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett, and today we're smoking bacon brisket on the Char Griller Grand Champ XD. I've smoked brisket, ribs, chicken, pork butt, you name it on that Char Griller Grand Champ. But we haven't done pork belly yet, so what better time to chop it up into four little mini briskets to get even more bark on that barbecue buster? You think on that. My plan is to turn this 11 pound pork belly into four individual bacon briskets. It's trim time team and it's super simple. We're gonna cut off any hangers and danglers, round off all the corners so there's no hard edges. We're also gonna trim down the fat cap of each one of these bacon briskets cause I ain't got time for all that bacon fat. This is a simple trim and simple seasoning. So I'm going mustard binder and my AP rub to start off. And since this is brisket style, you know I'm adding a layer of that Texas rub and I'm starting with the sides first. Now we are cooking these fat cap up so we'll season the meat side first so that way we finish on the presentation side. You wanna rep these rub recipes at your next rotisserie? We'll click show more in the description. Might make you believe in a higher power. I'm preaching a pepper prophecy from the the projects of the east side. Second verse just like the first, so I'm flipping these little piggies. Mustard slather, AP rub, Texas rub, pat it down once, pat it down some more. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Okay crew, we're going with a couple small splits of hickory to get this fire started off right. I'm liking the looks of that. Okie doke. Looks like this is what we're going on with. We're swimming right about 275. I'm gonna put them back closest to the uh, stack here. All right. Fare thee well, bacon briskets. I like how those look. We're gonna give them about an hour, hour and a half before we start looking to see if they need a spritz. And our target temperature right now is about 250, 275, uh, no higher than that. We don't want these things getting burned. We want a nice, slow and low smoke. We're just gonna let them bathe in that smoke like a hickory hustler. Boom! Okay crew, we're an hour and a half in. I just put another split in about 15 minutes ago. Uh, let me give you the up close, show you how the old grand champ's boining. She ate, ain't she? I'm running the fire with some um, small splits, but as you can see, I mean, it's very windy, so you can't really get a grasp on exactly how clean, but some faint wisps of smoke. Since I'm trying to do these mostly Texas style, I'm going with just apple cider vinegar, water, probably two parts apple cider vinegar, one part water. Let me get you zoomed in here. That, of course, is a blocking log, non edible. But yes. These are all looking pretty tasty already. I think I'm gonna move that dude to the back and juxtaposition these all around a, just a skosh. Mm, mm, mm. Awesome, I'm probably gonna give those guys a little rotation here in about 30 minutes and hit it with the spritzer every 30, 45 minutes, give or take. Keep refueling and keep checking back in. We're probably just beyond two hours, it is. Uh, beyond hot out here and uh, I need to move these around like I said I would so I figure I'd give you guys the show blocking log you doing yeoman's effort Oof. gonna try and handle these with care yeah they're feeling awful good I shouldn't use the word awful I mean they're feeling great matter of fact here you go what do you think about the show that's two hours in gang that is pre-spritz two hours in. 
Thank you. All right. That bark's sat. Very, very sweet here. I'm liking the looks of these guys. I'm going to move this small fry on yonder. And then this fella. And just try and get that little frayed edge of this uh, guy kind of away from the brunt of the heat. Outside of that, these guys are looking, woof, they're already looking tasty, gang. While we got her open, I'm gonna give her a little uh, TLC with the S-P-R-I-T-Z, woof, woof. Okie dokie, I don't know that I'm gonna wrap these little dudes. Uh, I really like the way they're looking now. I could use some more bark, and I think by the time we get it a little bit more uh, crispy on the texture of that bark, it's gonna be right at the doneness we like and ready for a rest. But uh, you're gonna see it unfold as I do. Okay, crew, two and a half hours in. She's about 275 and and she's burning clean now. Let's get a look at these. It is spritz time. Boy, these are looking pretty. Hey, you. I know you need a little bit of moisture, dog. That ought to do. Okay. Well, they're definitely gonna need at least another hour, hour and a half, we'll see about it. Uh, I'll let you know when I know. All right, crew, just loaded a split in. We're swimming at just under 250 right now on the rise. Uh, we're at three hours on the nose and I'm thinking I'm gonna shift those uh, three around here. And just like we talked about, um, I think I'm gonna move this guy to the far end. Oh, starting to feel really good. They just, guys, they honestly feel like little mini briskets. I think they're gonna be ready real soon. And we'll take this guy, move him back closer to the stack. Mmm, yeah, that fat's starting to give on there. Anywho, get this closed up. I think we're going for 30, maybe a whole nother hour and probably pulling those, giving it a nice rest and it's gonna be slicing, snackling, snampling, snap. Three and a half hours in, this could be the last spritz. Uh, let's give them a checkup. We're just above 275 right now and my, that bark is nice. Still set of course, but the texture's nice and soft too. Uh, all of them do seem to have done what a brisket would do, too. Uh, we puffed up a little bit, taken in on the sides. Um, really good looking crust on the fat cap here. All of these really look nice. Uh, the texture, the bark, I'm very satisfied. I suppose you could wrap them, but I think we're going to be just fine letting these go the whole four, four and a half, whatever it takes. You know, that's what kind of crew we are. We're a whatever it takes kind of crew. Okay team, it's four hours on the nose. Let's check where these bacon briskets are at. I think we've earned a temp. Yeah, this guy's pretty large and in charge. 170 full. 75. No, just 174. Oh, shout out Pro Bowl. Let's see where this guy in the back is. He can't be more than 170. Yep, buck 71 on the nose. Don't even need to tempt a little fella. Okie dokie team, you know what that means. 30 more minutes, maybe 60 more minutes. Uh, maybe another Modelo or two. Okay, four and a half hours in. Let's see where we're at. Give you the zoom in advance. What about that? He never does them in advance. Oh yeah. Oh boy, they're starting to really have some. I hope you can see in the camera there is some give on this fat. 
but it's still bouncing back. As I'm sure you can see, um, I think we need to just keep on cruising, keep on keeping on, you know? I think we'll shoot about 30 more minutes and these dudes are gonna be done. I could pull these at any time, but I just wanted to show you how much is rendering from these pork bellies, I think the grease is, well the good news is the angle I've put it at uh, is working properly, but we are rendering that fat, y'all. Whoop whoop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna give these guys about 30 minutes rest, start some slicing and sampling. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good lord, the small guy. The small fry is nice. All three of these are just super tender. Like, have a look at that. You already know. You already know. Let's see how we've done, gang. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I don't know if these will hold under quarter inch slices, team. Oh, does it smell something good. The, the, the odiferous emanations from this pork. This is ridiculous render. That's what this is. That is that bacon brisket. I could just disintegrate this in my finger. I'm, oh Lord. Bacon brisket burnings? Possibly you. Not even wrapped, and it is just falling apart. This slice is barely holding up. Matter of fact, here's that slice. Just press down on it. Lord have mercy. That's that candy fat. That is that bacon brisket. No lie, there's grease and pepper everywhere for days. <laughs> Just dying to be at. Let me dab that off on a couple other pieces. Holy cow. I really think this is the best way to go about pork belly. Not only in preparation so you get the bark all over every little piece, but you only eat one piece tonight. Save those other three pieces for later, hold them back. Slices off of this in a soft shell tortilla with a little bit of spinach, some goat cheese, and some salsa verde. What? Matter of fact, that may be happening tonight. Don't sell me short. I'm gonna have to call this mission a success, team. I firmly believe you will be improving the situation once this bacon brisket arrives. Hey, if I improved your situation, or if you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and ring that bell, click subscribe, join my tribe, jump in the backyard, hang with my gang, and you could get to cooking with us. I'm about to improve my situation by putting this in my mouth. This is legit one of those videos. If you don't finish it, passing out at the cutting board. Break yourself. This ain't no Fugazi YouTube reaction, man. This is just a chronic. A little bit of Pam never hurt nobody. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, El Guapo? Why? Cut the cameras, man. I'm gonna cry. That is the effing reality today. Love y'all.